Hey citizens, welcome back. Welcome back to another video, guys. It's been a while. I know it's been about a week. Your girl been traveling, you know, back and forth to Florida. Y'all know that's my stomping grounds. I love going to Florida. So happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers out there, grandmas, aunties. Happy Mother's Day. Um, and I'm back. I will spend my Mother's Day with a couple of my friends in Florida. I may or may not upload my blog. Um, I was only there for a couple of days, so I'm not 100% sure if um, I got enough footage to either do a vlog. So, so I'm not 100% sure. But I figure I will share my Mother's Day gifts with you guys. Yes. So this is a luxury unboxing Mother's Day haul slash unboxing. I don't know what you want to call it. But without further ado, let's just get into this Mother's Day unboxing video, guys. So if you're new here and you like videos like this, luxury unboxings, fashion hauls, vlogs just everyday life with sit you know what to do hit that subscribe button that bell notification so every time i upload a video what well, you can be notified okay so guys mother's day i got a few gifts from the wish list that i got for mother's day so if you're new here and you haven't watched my wish list i will link it right here and if you're already a citizen and you still didn't watch the wish list i don't know what you're waiting for girl click that link and watch that wish list then come back here so i went shopping with babe to pick up my mother's day gift yes it was on my list we tried to order it and um i wasn't sure sizing so i didn't want to just order in the mail i tried to get it from uh neiman markets because some luxury items if you get them from a department store you can get points which will give you money off uh, like gift cards, things like that. So I was always trying to get it from Neiman's because I want to get points. You know, you get the points and it's like you're getting money off or you can use the points to purchase other things. Well, it was on back order forever. Um, we tried to get a Christmas time back order. So that's why I put it on my wish list for Valentine's Day. Still on back order. So I said, you know what, Mother's Day is coming. I really want this. I'm not going to wait because it's still saying back order. At first they said I was going to have it by um, March 21st. And then we got an email saying, no, we're not getting it. It's still on back order. So we just said, forget about it. We canceled the order. And I said, for Mother's Day, I just want to go to the store, try it on, and pick it out. Because I thought I needed a small because I, uh, I thought... They ran big, but I think they kind of run true to size. And I didn't want mine to fit perfectly. I wanted to be like a little oversized. So let's just unbox this. And guys, I picked it out. I tried on a different color in the store in a different size. I tried on a size small. The small fits me perfect, but I didn't I wanted to fit a little bit oversized. So it was in the box. When you get get it, it's in the box. So I didn't even open it up. I didn't touch it. I, like I said, I tried on a color that was on display because it was a small and they only had one left and it was a size medium. So this is like an official unboxing. Like I seen the color. She let, you know, we did like a little peek in the box, but I didn't open it, take it all the way out, try it on, none of that stuff. Like I said, I tried on a small and a different color. So let's just unbox this. Big giant box. Let's do a thumbnail. Thumbnail. Versace, Versace, Versace. Versace. So, y'all, I finally got my Versace robe. I'm so excited. Like, I've been dying for this robe since Christmas. Didn't get it Christmas. Like I said, it was sold out. Valentine's Day. You can tell me this wasn't going to be showing up to the door. Sold out. I finally got it for Mother's Day. So let's just unbox her. 
comes in a big old box. I wanted it gift wrapped, but then they told me um, the Versace gift wrapping paper is really just for holiday. I didn't have it. I think if you order online, you can put for gift and it's gift wrapped, but I don't know. So here it is. Here's the box. Thumbnail. Okay. So, yes, I decided to go with the pink. So, and then I was telling my husband when we purchased this. Now they make two different robes. They have a hooded one and one without the robe. So, I was so excited when I called the Versace store to see if they had any left in pink. She told me, yes, we have one left. I can put it on hold for you. When we got there, like I said, it was folded. I tried on a different one. I don't know if this is the hooded one or if this is the regular one. To be honest, my husband liked the hooded one. I don't really care for the hooded one because it's short. But if this is the hooded one, I'm going to be taking it back because I don't want the hooded one. I want the long one. If I have to wait again, I'm just going to wait. So I was so excited. We purchased it and then we was on the move. So I didn't. I don't even know what I'm getting to unbox right now. That's that's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't know if it's a hooded or a regular one because they're both the same price. And I didn't think to ask the sales rep when I when we were on the phone, is it the hooded or is it the regular one? So y'all just keep your fingers crossed and hopefully this is the one I want. If not, it's going back. I'm not even going to... I'm going to open it because I'm dying to try it on. But let's see. Here it is, and it's not the hooded one. So this is the exact robe that I wanted. It's so pretty, fuchsia pink, and I actually have some cute little um, slippers to go with it. I'm gonna show you these slippers. I actually have these pink pool slides that I had for a couple years to match. So that's why I decided to go with the pink because I was thinking about, I was initially thinking about getting a black one, but this pink one is just so pretty. Let me get her open. Here's the belt to go with it. Oh my goodness, it's so luxurious. Yes, guys, so I finally got my Versace robe and I got this in a size medium and it was the last one in the store. So, I'm going to try it on. Maybe I'll do some my shots. But yes, y'all, another check off of the wish list. Oh my goodness, so cute. All right, so that's one of my items. Okay, guys, so then when we was in the Versace store, you know, I'm looking around and everything. My essay had these little cute little studs on and... I was like, they are so, so cute. So I can see me with the studded earrings, my robe. Okay, so here's a little box. A little Versace box. And here they are. I'm gonna take them out because they're so tiny. And these are so, so, so cute. And these are costume jewelry. This is not like 14 karat gold. So you can't sleep in them. Um, well, you probably could, but I wouldn't. And you can't shower with them. You know, it's like costume jewelry, like how this is. It's just um, like luxury costume jewelry. So I'm going to put these on. And see how I like them. I like them because they dainty. Like usually, Versace pieces are like kind of gaudy, like the Medusa head. I like some of it, but I 
these are just a cute little statement so I'm going to wear these for the rest of the video so what do you think cute they're so cute now I know these were not on my wish list the Chanel CC's are on my wish list but I really like these and I will be rocking these with my Versace sunglasses yes mix a little oh with the new mm-hmm and then my little cool slides mm-hmm how cute yes Rich Auntie Vibes. The auntie with no kids. The auntie with grown kids. Alright. <laughs> Let me stop playing around. And if you really want to go old school on them. Mm, let's talk about it. Let, oh yeah. Like just like this. Let's talk about it. As a matter of fact, I think I need to post a picture on my um on my Instagram. Let me pause this. Okay, now I'm finished playing. So, okay, so y'all already know I had to get me something from Gucci. I was in Florida. I stopped in a Gucci outlet. Remember, I told y'all don't sleep on a Gucci outlet. So let's get her open. Alright, so remember, I told y'all don't be sleeping on a Gucci outlet for your accessories so I went to the Gucci outlet and I picked up a new pair of Gucci socks in this color is the pink G's with the green so pretty and with the Gucci socks, the Gucci socks is like a little statement piece. So you can put on a cute pair of jean shorts, a fuchsia pink t-shirt, and, you know, some slides. And this would be like your little, just your little accessory piece. So this is so cute. I love this color green. It's summery. And with the fuchsia pink. So that was a gift that I gifted myself while I was on my little girl's trip. I, know, I love me some Gucci socks. So if you don't know what to buy me for Christmas, my birthday, you know, or just because, you can always get me a pair of Gucci socks. We have another package, and this is from Gucci as well. I placed this order um, a couple days before my trip, and it just came in today. And this is from Gucci. So this was another gift that I gifted myself. I couldn't find it in the stores. It was sold out online, sold out in the store. So it was available to order online recently. I don't know why it's in this huge box. It's in this huge box, it's not that big. But you know, Gucci always gotta make such a big presentation. comes with the little um, Gucci bag. This is cute. I was just telling my girlfriend, she got a really big one. She ordered a purse and they sent her like a really, really big one. So I didn't get a purse today, but I want the big one. Her big one is like laundry basket size. This is so cute. Let me carry stuff in. This is like a wine bottle size. Be cute to give somebody um, a bottle of wine and put it in this bag. And the rest are just papers. This is all making exchanges or returns. You know how Gucci do. And then it's just a big old box. And this is a little box. It's so cute. You know how Gucci. 
And this is like the new paper, the new boxes. It's like the um, multicolor print stuff. It's so cute. So, y'all already know I have a question with the Gucci socks. So, I had to have these. Oh, my goodness. Look how cute these are. Look, this makes me want to get the Marmot bag. Like, have you guys seen the bag like this? I just had to have these socks. I actually wanted these socks to wear on my vacation, but they didn't have them. I cannot. I cannot. These are so, so cute. Oh, yes. So, so cute. So, I got these. And I got these in a size small. The other ones I got was a size medium. But with the Gucci socks, I wear anywhere from a small, um, a medium to a small. I love them. Oh my goodness. And I called three different Gucci stores. I have three Gucci um, essays. One in King of Prussia, one in Shore Hills, and one in the Gucci Mansion in New York. Sold out. Couldn't get them. And I finally got a pair. So I actually have to let them know that I got a pair so they don't, you know, hit me up or try to stash them well not stash them just hold them and somebody else could get a pair so i'm definitely gonna let them know that i finally got a pair yes so i'm so happy i love them and this right here is so cute with all the colors i love this package i'm definitely gonna keep this One more item left. I wasn't sure if I was going to open it in this video because I'm not 100% sure if I want to keep it. I feel like it was an impulse buy. I was with my girlfriends. We're shopping and shopping and shopping. And I actually wanted something else. And what I wanted, they didn't have. I was looking for a white Balenciaga bag with the silver B. I want the... I'll link a picture right here. I actually want the hourglass, but I wanted it a wallet on chain and they only make it with the gold. So I might have to get like the mini or small one, but I really wanted a white hourglass with a silver chain and I couldn't find it. So I just had to buy something. So I bought Marc Jacobs. Yes, you already know we love us some Marc Jacobs. But like I said, I'm not 100% sure if I want to keep it. Um, so we will say I'll unbox it, share with you guys, and let me know. What do you guys think? Should I keep it? Should I take it back? Because I'm not completely in love with it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and unbox it with you guys. Um, Marc Jacobs tote bag in a small in yellow. So you guys already know I have the black and I did a comparison video. If you haven't seen it, I will link it here. Um, we did a comparison video with my daughter Ty, the mini versus the small. And this is the small in yellow. And it comes with a black strap. And the same material as the other one. And it has the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag um, in white. And, you know, it's just cute. I like the yellow. And then I actually bought a, a strap to match it. A different strap just to change it up. And I think this strap is gray and... In yellow. So I'm just gonna open it up just a little bit because, like I said, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep it. So it's the gray with the yellow, and I think it's cute together. But I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, it was an impulse buy, and I already have a tote bag. Do I need another tote bag? Maybe I should have got it in leather. 
I don't know, but here it is. And it's, it's cute. It's, so it's a very cute summer color. But like I said, am I going to reach for this um, often or is it just going to collect dust? So that's my main um, reason and why I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it or not. It's cute though. The yellow is very pretty. So I'm not 100% sure of that. Okay, guys, that is it for my Mother's Day luxury unboxing. I do have another gift, which it didn't come in yet. Um, babe ordered me some Baccarat Rouge. Um, I actually have some samples, and I'm not 100% sure if I'm in love with the scent. Um, I actually sampled it one time when I was in Miami, and I thought I loved it. And then, you know, I was contemplating on it and then I found another scent that I know that I fell in love with so that's why I did this video where I'm just like I'm not even going to wait for the Baccarat Rouge because I think I'm going to take it back and exchange it for Tom Ford Bitter Peach that smell y'all oh my goodness oh my goodness yes if you haven't smelt it you don't know time for a bit of peach it smells so amazing to me like it's yummy it's just yummy so um i think i'm going to exchange the baccarat rouge for the um, time for a bit of peach yeah i have the rouge on now and it's like it smells good don't get me wrong it smells good but that bitter peach everything so guys, that is it for this Mother's Day luxury unboxing haul. And if you're new here and you enjoy videos like this and you stayed this long, um, you know what to do. Just hit that subscribe button, that bell notification. So every time I upload a video, you will be the first to be notified and become an official citizen. Yes, become an official citizen. Join the family. And that is it for today, guys. Until next time, sit down and off. Peace.